Hello everyone, welcome to It's All About Economics. I'm Suraj Sharma and in today's lecture we'll get to know how to calculate mean, median and mode uh, using Excel and we'll locate median graphically for you and for that we'll use uh, raw data as well as uh, uh, the uh, classification classified data for you and uh, how we can locate median graphically by using ogives uh, what ogives are actually ogives are scatter plot made uh, using less than cumulative frequency on y-axis with upper class limit and another uh, using more than cumulative frequency on y-axis using uh, lower limit of class interval that is called more than a jive and uh, what actually uh, we get from that uh, the intersection of these two represent median for a particular frequency distribution so we'll uh, get to know how we can do that uh, first of all uh, we should have a raw data and let's suppose uh, we have marks of uh, students uh, attain in a um, in an examination uh, and the total marks are out of 100 so what we'll have to do is uh, uh, we'll have to use a formula uh, that is random between and, uh, and let's suppose we have um, scores from 0 to 100 because the examination is out of 100 marks so this is why we have a random number and let's suppose we have this data for uh, 100 students so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, scroll it down uh, Till the hundred observation. Uh, here we have hundred observations, and now uh, what next we'll have to do is uh, we don't want formula because uh, further calculation cannot be done using this formula. Uh, so what we'll do is we will just copy it into another sheet and we paste it using value pasting, uh, so that the formula can be erased. Now we have hundred observations uh, or the marks of students out of 100 and total observations are 100 because we have uh, this for 100 students now uh, the next thing what we'll have to do we'll have to uh, make the data look nicer to you so I'll have an, another sheet and uh, that sheet will be telling about marks of students and uh, this I will Margin center. Now I'll take the observations from uh, first twenty observations. I'll I'll, I'll uh, cut and paste it here. Similarly, uh, I'll take the next uh, twenty observations, and for that, I'll have to select it cut it and paste here uh, the next 20 observation third set of 20 observations and uh, that would be from 42 to 61 and uh, I'll cut it I'll paste it here similarly because we have 20, uh, 100 total 100 observations so um, if we go by this we'll have 5 columns of the same this is the 4th set of 20, 20 observations and uh, the next one is from 82 to 101 observations and let's cut and paste it here this is how you can have random observations and uh, uh, include some effects to it I'll include this now I border it and I have this uh, very beautifully looking uh, raw data now uh, for calculating mean median and mode uh, what you'll have to do is uh, uh, you just have to write the formula and here you will get now in front of mean I'll use the equal sign I'll start the formula and I will write average a v e and here you have the average formula 
just double click on that now it's uh, asking you to select the range of observation so we have here the range of observation this is why uh, I have taken it into um, uh, a gist form now I have selected all the observations bracket close and enter this is actually the mean um, average score uh, the, this is the mean scores or the mean marks of uh, 100 students in a particular examination and that is 50.63 now uh, uh, calculating mean use equal sign and write down median you have this formula double click on that and uh, in the same way you have to choose the observations um, or the select the uh, observations or the raw data uh, close the bracket enter it and you have uh, this midpoint as 49 so median is 49 for this this particular uh, um, uh, frequency uh, for for mass distribution and similarly for mode what you'll have to do is just type uh, equal sign write mode and here you have two options uh, multiple mode and single mode I've already mentioned that a distribution can have multiple modes uh, or a single mode so I'll, I'll, I'll use multiple mode here uh, similarly I'll use uh, I'll, I'll select the observations or the raw data I'll close the bracket and I'll add, uh, enter now this is uh, giving you uh, the mode median and mean now uh, for uh, uh, graphically uh, locating median what we actually need uh, we need um, a frequency distribution uh, using uh, classification of this data now for that what we'll have to do is uh, we'll have to first create the bins and uh, let's suppose I'm, I'm classifying this data into uh, uh, five different categories uh, from 0 to 20 then uh, 20 to 40 then 40 to 60 and then 60 to 80 and more than that I don't have to write it down now this is our uh, bins range and similarly what you'll have to do I'll, uh, for a frequency table I'll have to go to data uh, go to data analysis uh, I'll use histogram and I'll press OK now uh, here what I'll have to do uh, is uh, I'll, 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 I'll have to select the input range what the input range is here this is the input range select this input range this uh, raw data we have now the bins range for bins range I'll have to select the bins uh, the upper class limit and uh, mm, I want output and let's suppose I want output here and I don't want chart output because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make a bar graph of that now I'll press OK now here we have frequency distribution I'll make it uh, uh, look uh, beautiful to you now this is from 0 to 20 and uh, this is from 20 to 40 uh, this is from uh, uh, 40 to 60 and uh, this is from 60 to 80 and this more than 80 part can be written as 80 to 100 because we have uh, uh, bins from 0 to 100 and we have frequencies alternative frequency you can see that uh, 17 students have got marks between 0 to 20 23 students have got uh, between 20 to 40 marks uh, uh, similarly 20 19 and 21 and if you see that this this number if you add these numbers uh, it will actually sum up to sum and uh, you'll have to use some formula and some if you sum these select these observations and press enter you will have 100 so we it means it's it's uh, rightly depicted because uh, we had 100 observations and here we are getting 100 now what you'll have to do is just copy this and paste it in another sheet using value pasting here I have bins or the class uh, intervals I have frequency now what I'll have, uh, uh, I'll have to calculate is uh, uh, I'll have to get a uh, lower class boundary and uh, upper class uh, boundaries uh, similarly I'll have to get uh, cumulative frequency and uh, that is less than and uh, then next I'll have to calculate cumulative frequency that is uh, more than because I need uh, less than cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency for plotting less than and more than a jives now for a low uh, lower class boundary you know that what are the lower class ba class boundaries are here uh, this is 0 then 20 then 40 then 60 and 80 and similarly in upper class boundaries we have 20 and uh, 40 then 60 
80 and 100 now uh, for less than cumulative frequency uh, what we actually do is we, we use um, uh, upper class boundaries and for that the less than frequency here is 17 because we have uh, upper class boundary uh, 17 students have got uh, less than 20 marks now similarly what you'll do you use equal to sign and this sorry bracket this plus 23 or b3 enter now you have 40 and what next i have to do just drag it down and here you see uh, it will ultimately add up to this cumulative frequency will add up to total number of observations that is 100 it means it's already it's 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 all right now for cumulative frequency that is uh, more than cumulative frequency what you'll have to do we'll ha just have to start from the uh, from uh, this point now uh, here we have 21 students who are getting more than 80 means lower class boundary and more than cumulative frequency now similarly what you'll have to do we'll have to just go upside and for that i will use formula bracket uh, now this plus this frequency and just enter it now select it and just drag it and here you have it means uh, ultimately we are getting 100 again it means uh, this is uh, um, all right now uh, how you can actually interpret it now you can see from less than frequency uh, 17 students have got less than 20 40 students have got less than 40 uh, 60 students have, have got less than 60 uh, 79 students have got um, mm, less than 80 and so on now uh, in cumulative frequency uh, more than sequence you can see um, 21 students have got uh, more than 20 uh, sorry more than 80 then uh, 40 students have got more than 60 then 60 students have more uh, have got more than 40 and so on now we have all mm, all the things now what you'll have to do for less than cumulative frequency uh, i'll have to select upper class boundary and less than frequency okay and by default uh, it takes it like that uh, uh, the axle takes it uh, the, the um, column in the left would be appearing uh, in the x-axis and column to the right would be uh, actually um, be in the y-axis so uh, that is what we needed and now I'll go to insert I'll go to scatter plot and I'll use this plot scatter with the smooth lines and markers now here you have uh, your less than ogive and uh, uh, for graphically locating mean uh, sorry median we need more than ogive here too and for more than ogive what you'll have to do is just uh, uh, click on the graph and right click select the data now here in select the data you um, can see this add option add here series name what next i'll have to add i'll have to add the lower class boundary plus the uh, more than cumulative frequency so series name is here this lower class boundary so lower class boundary lcb uh, what are the uh, uh, series x values the x values are these and what about the y values here the y values are more than cumulative frequency just select this and here it appears okay now you can see that uh, this um, blue line is having uh, the less than cumulative frequency it is called less than ogive and this is called the more than ogive and the intersection part what is uh, it can you can see that this is the intersection one and now go to format and select this uh, line and uh, just draw a perpendicular from this point to the x-axis here it is and somewhere somewhere here you have your median so somewhere here you have your median here you have your 
median. So this is how you can calculate median or you can graphic uh, graph uh, you can locate your median here so this is this is the point where you actually have your median and it is very similar uh, it is um, just like 47 what we have already calculated here for you that mode median was 49 and here too you can see this is lying between 40 to 60 just between 40 to 60 that is 49 here so this is how you can calculate uh, or uh, mean median and mode and this is how you can uh, graph uh, or locate your median using less than and more than ojive uh, i hope you like it thank you so much for being with me